so I'm going to be making mapo tofu today. I already cut up the green onions, which will both also be used. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up a shallot, um, like kind of dice it. You don't really need to use a shallot, by the way. I just like using shallots because it gives a little bit of a sharper taste. Basically just finished cutting up the shallots. I'm gonna move on to dicing an onion, like the nice small pieces. Yeah. Um, now I finished cutting up the onions. Uh, or dicing it up. Next step, I usually use about like five to six cloves, but today I'm just gonna use five. You have to like mince them or dice them too well. You just have to make sure they're kind of small. I usually try to get them around this size. Time to see. Yeah, that's usually pretty good. After cutting up the garlic, which I have over here, uh, I'm gonna start cutting up the soft tofu. Yeah, I like using soft tofu because I feel like it, the texture is a lot better than firmer tofu, firm tofu. There's a lot of water in the package, so I usually try to drain it out a little bit and take it out. And I usually set this aside after I cut it up, and I do a final drain. I'll show you later when actually doing the... What I normally do is I just go down the middle as best as I can, just cut it like that. So I get two big blocks. From the big blocks, I like to get the proportions kind of like nice and small, so... You get like this way. So you get like a lot of pieces that look around this big. Don't worry too much about proportions, I just like the proportions like that. I think this is a good size. Make sure it's hot. Keep it on kinda hot. Get some oil. Normally don't want to put too much oil, I just kinda eyeball it. I think that's good enough. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention earlier, but this is the ground pork we'll be using. Normally I would use half a pound for the portion I make. Assuming this is probably close to hot enough, I get my garlic and green onions. You save like half your green onions for the garnish at the end, you can use the first half to make the base. So yeah, first thing I normally do is just ingredients. Like these go in, let it soak a little bit, get it set up a little bit, and then don't forget your shallots and onions. I just dump in most of my vegetables with, in at the same time. It doesn't really matter, I think, too much because they're just kind of dirty. I don't really season too much because the sauce I'll be using, I feel like it's strong enough with soy sauce. You don't really need to add like salt and pepper, but I guess you could if you really want to make it. Yeah, basically, what you want to do normally is um, spread it out, like spread out your bread a little bit. And then, um, Make sure that you get at least a minute or two of this kind of to build up the initial flavor. You don't want it to be like super overcooked, but you want it to get cooked enough so that the overall flavor starts to sit in on the pan. And I like the sharp taste of kind of like the shallots and the onions and the onion. That's why I throw them all in usually at the same time. Could have done a better job dicing some of them, but overall at the end of the day, the start of the show is not really the vegetables, but they help a lot. Okay, so now that I think after mixing them for a bit, I'm gonna get the brown meat. This step will take a little bit longer because you need the meat to get pretty much cooked before you proceed to the next step. Try to get it underneath all the vegetables until it's like nice and cooked. But we'll get there later. So basically now it's like kind of, the, the meat is like nice and cooked now, so you can proceed to the next step, which is adding the sauce. Not too complicated, actually. You get like a spoon. You get this thing called la dou banjang. What I always do is four to five scoops of this put into a bowl. Four. Okay, so now that's the sauce. I know I kind of let the thing kind of cook at medium high, but now you kind of lower it a little bit. Basically just medium. You dump the sauce directly in. You don't mix it yet because I usually like to add about one to two cups of water on top of this so you get like kind of more sauce base just since later on you're going to be using cornstarch and then i fill it up with a little bit of water from the tap so it's probably more like one cup of water maybe like a one and a half cups is usually good enough and then the second thing you do is you get some soy sauce dump it in don't dump in too much but try to cover some base with it and then after that you start mixing it a little bit and uh yeah that's pretty much most of the sauce, but um, it's not everything yet. To recap, there was doubanjang, there was water, and there was soy sauce. You could also add the hot chili oil if you want it spicier, but I usually tend not to go too spicy when I eat with my family, so this is usually how far I go. Uh, if you crave the super spicy, then adding the mala oils or hot chili oil helps a lot. Normally at this point, we'll add a little bit of sesame oil. Not too much though, just a little bit. The next thing I usually do is throw in a little bit of sugar. I usually go for like two to three scoops of this, because I kind of like it a little bit sweeter not just completely salty and spicy and then you mix that around a little bit before i throw it in actually what i normally do is there's actually going to be a lot of water coming out so i try to drain it again before i toss it in so i i don't know if you can see it but there's some water that's dripping out after that you toss it in and that's pretty much it for the tofu and then you mix that in for a bit and then 
the final step would be to add in cornstarch before you garnish it. But yeah, normally you want this to sit in for a little bit longer. Sometimes you want it to simmer so you can really get the flavor in, but you don't have to let it sit as long as I used to think. Usually also at this point, I don't keep the fire up as high anymore. The last step is to use this thing called cornstarch. Three scoops, three tablespoons. And I'll show you what happens when you mix it. Yeah, but when you actually mix it, it makes your sauce like super thick and it makes the texture of like everything just work out for us because it really heightens the flavor of the sauce. You're gonna start noticing that the sauce thickens out more. Here, you're pretty much done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All your ingredients also get really nice and thick. It's gonna be pretty good. The sauce isn't like too overwhelming and the tofu is just really flavorful because there's all the vegetables and all that meat sauce. It goes really well with rice. So now I'm gonna plate it. So it's pretty much done at this point. If you wanna take a closer look, that's how it looks like before you plate it. And the last step, don't forget the step. I used to forget this step all the time. Garnishing it with your last set of green onions. And yeah, there you have it. Decent to my standards, but let me know if you end up liking it.